Hello friends. So when I look at this truck that is overloaded to the top, it just shows me sometimes the things that we carry in our hearts. Sometimes we carry people in our hearts. Things that have happened long time ago and we have not let go, we are still carrying. People have offended us, people have called us names, and those people we are carrying in our hearts. People that have stolen from us. And that thing we still carrying in our hearts. Maybe it's the abuse that we endured while we are young. We are carrying in our hearts. Maybe it's the relationship that was an abusive one. We are called names and we are carrying in our hearts. But you see, there is a limit. Because as you can see, it just took one little thing on the road that tipped this truck over. You see, one thing is that in life, if you are carrying the people, if you are carrying offenses, if you are carrying all these burdens, it just take one little thing and you'll find yourself tipping over. This tipping over, it can come in form of outburst. Someone just gets so angry and decided to offload it by killing by slaughtering, by murdering. One little thing and your your life is upside down. This is where you hear people, someone took a gun and went on a shooting spree because there was a small trigger. There was, an, there was something that was done that now cause the person to tip over. What you don't realize is just if you look at this truck, it was tipped by a small object on the road. And that's what happens when we don't let go, when we don't forgive. It takes a small thing that will make us tip over. It can be just be a comment or, or an insult and that can make you tip over. There was a boy that was bullied in school when he was little. He'll be called names. They'll punch him, kick him. They will take away his lunch and it went on for a long time. The boy never said anything. He internalized. N now in his late teens, someone made a comment about him on the social media. They called him a name on the social media. That comment tipped him over. He decided he will finish this thing once. He will deal with this thing once and for all. He took a gun, went to school, killed some of his classmates. Then he took his own life. There was a, there was a lady when she was a little girl. She, she had suffered abuse by her father emotionally and sexually. She internalized those things. 
she got married and um one day her husband made made a comment and that comment what he was saying or what he told her is that they it's not good to be overweight because it will affect your health and this lady it it brought up the memories of her childhood because her father used to make comment about her overweight and this lady fought her husband that night because it that comment was a tipping over the end result is that her husband walked away walked away out of that marriage walked away out of her life i look at someone like moses whom god testified that he was the most meekest man on the face of the earth and uh, god used him mightily to lead the children out of egypt but the problem is he had an anger issue the things that people did to him he took it to his heart now you know these people that he was leading through the wilderness they were complainers professional complainers and they complained to Moses that he has brought them to a place of suffering they would have rather remained in Egypt so when Moses prayed to God God instructed him to take a rod to speak to the rock and it will yield its waters i'm reading from numbers chapter 20 So verse 10 he says and Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock and he said to them Hear now you rebels must we bring water for you out of this rock then Moses lifted his hand and struck the instruction was he speak to the rock but he struck the rock twice with his rod the miracle still happened the water came out abundantly and the congregation and their animals drank if you read further down god said to moses because you disobeyed me you will not enter the promised land you see he had loaded himself up so much and and now this request this murmuring it got to his nerves and instead of speaking to the rock he struck it and he missed out the blessing of being of walking in the promised land see the thing is that some the things that we are we are loading ourselves with <laughs> at the end that thing be- ends up destroying that's why jesus looked at the people who had crucified him people who had mocked him people who had spat on him while he was dying on the cross This is what he said. This is what this is how he prayed. Father forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. What did he do? He offloaded. The things that were done unto him, he offloaded 
unto the Father. Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. 1 Peter 5 and verse 7. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. See, when you know that he cares for you, what you do is you, you cast your cares. You shift the burden. Give him that load so that you may be free. You may walk light. That you may walk free. And the Bible says, He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. God bless you.